Welcome back to the Castle Grounds Apiary channel. Uh, what you are about to see is a wood versus concrete comparison video again. I wasn't really intending on shooting this, so I didn't have a you know a actual intro. I was just doing a quick inspection yesterday to check on the progress of the wood hive. You'll see how they're doing. And then I didn't have Brandon with me yesterday, so I wasn't even gonna get into the concrete hive because that thing is such a bear to handle, especially now that it is two supers tall. But what I found in the hives was so compelling, I decided we'll, we'll shoot a few minutes. So you'll see how that goes right about now. Roll the intro. Quick little update. We put on the honey super on the wooden hive a couple weeks back. It looked like the bottom box was really ready. Population was good. A lot of, I think we had eight frames of bees maybe. A lot of full frames and there's not a single bit of work done on any of these supers we put on here. So maybe we put it on too early. We did have a lot of rain. So I think maybe it might have been put on on the right time, but then the environmental conditions, variables just kind of thwarted the plan there. So I'm gonna check the bottom and see if it still looks like it needs the super. If not, we may take it off. So this brood chamber actually looks pretty good. I mean, they are completely full. All 10 frames are full of resources or, or brood or kept honey. I did find the queen and I did see a lot of brand new eggs, but there are a lot of super procedure cells and one that did have uh, royal jelly in it. So the queen may not be healthy and that may be why they didn't expand quite as quickly. And another reason why I have all these resources, not, not quite enough brood being developed. So that's kind of a bummer. This hive is still struggling a little bit. Let's check out the zombie hive. So we're into the second super of the concrete hive. And if I didn't see this for myself, I just wouldn't believe it. It's been on here for a couple weeks. And so far, they have completely filled and capped every frame. I mean, it's 100%, well, 99.9%. Just, and here's the crazy thing. I put one, two, three, four, five, six brand new frames in here that didn't even have, completely foundationless. This is one of them. They completely drew, filled, and capped that already. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I haven't checked this one yet. <laughs> that was foundationless. Six. This one foundationless. Completely drawn. It's filled, but it's not capped yet. Look how big those cells are. Those are noticeably larger. And then this one just got started. So, how many did I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess I put 10 in here. So, seven out of 10 are fully drawn. Six out of 10 are fully drawn, filled, and capped honey. And two weeks. I haven't even gotten a second super yet. Hopefully it's the same way. This is just incredible. All right, the second super, or the first super is actually completely full, all 10 frames, 100% capped honey. There's no brood. The queen has been only laying in the bottom. I've seen not a single hive beetle, but you know, things sound too good to be true, they usually are. So not, it's not all sunshine and roses. I went ahead and pulled a couple drone cells and gave them the old smishy smash to check for mites um, because I hadn't seen one in there so I wanted to check some inspect some uh, drone cells and sure enough did find some mites so she's not bulletproof but by god she makes honey 
So we're going to uh, probably have to extract soon. We're out of room. I'm not even going to get into the brew chamber. There's no reason to. They are thriving. A quick recap. I hope you are not up to speed. These two hives were started on the same day, came from the same bee yard, same exact conditions, except for one is concrete, obviously, and one is wood. This hive has zero capped honey in their super. This hive has 16 fully, fully capped supers, super frames. Now, I think there's something going on here with this, with this hive. I think the queen might have had a problem or it just isn't healthy and laying enough because they were doing better a couple weeks ago. It seems like they've kind of stalled. And that could be a completely separate issue. I have nothing to do with the wood, you know what I mean? I mean, bees obviously can live in wood just fine. That doesn't make sick queens, but it definitely doesn't help with the experiment, that's for sure. But this concrete hive is just blowing and going. They're almost completely out of space. I don't know what I'm gonna, I guess I didn't really want to extract. We kind of wanted to just let the year run its course and kind of take a, a step back once it all, all was said and done and just, you know, see what produced and what didn't. But I guess we'll have to do some extracting. Might as well give them some room. But anyway, that's the update. The hives are doing good. The concrete hive is doing better. And just so you guys know, just for just for reference, the uh, the same bees that are in these two hives, we have we bought six more nukes the same day we did these out at the apiary. And out of those six, we I think the best one out there is, has maybe uh, I don't know two frames of capped honey in the super versus 16 out of the big boy here I don't know I'm becoming a believer of the concrete all right huge difference right um, and I know the the wood hive I think has some queen issues and so that's not a wood problem that's just a a hive issue and we will address it but I can't stress enough that this concrete hive not was it just installed at the same time as the wood hive next to it it was installed at the same time as the other six wooden hives that we have at the apiary and they none of them are anywhere near um, as productive as this concrete hive is so it maybe it's coincidence I'm not going to disregard that possibility but I think that the that the level of efficiency is already starting to speak for itself. What I need to do next is put another hive. I think what we're going to do is take one of the wood hives that's at the castle grounds, um, take it out of that nuke and put it into a concrete hive. So we have two concrete hives to test against and see uh, what kind of results we get at that point or maybe we'll just put a completely different hive in the in another concrete hive i don't know all i know is is that you know you can't make conclusions based on one set of data so we do need a second concrete hive going so anyway so far so good man looking really good thanks for watching